Why was I not paid my YouTube Red earnings on my channel? Do I need to buy the $10 a month YouTube Red subscription in order to get paid for YouTube Red earnings? Is a common question you asked in yesterday's video. You are paid YouTube Red earnings. And if you missed it, click that I up there to watch the video because it's important. This video answers that and many more questions that you asked in the comments below. Some other questions you asked are, how often do I get paid YouTube Red earnings? And is YouTube Red going to go away? Is it a temporary thing? Are they just testing it? And how much do I get paid for YouTube Red versus advertiser supported revenue? So let's answer all those questions in today's episode of The George Show. So yesterday we had this video. We paid you your YouTube Red earnings early this month and we'll continue paying you your... And today we're going to read your comments from that video and answer them. So, Cephas Red VS, Cephas Red Versus, asked, Hey George, something isn't clear to me. Do we not have to buy a subscription to YouTube Red to gather earnings? So I answered, yes, that's exactly correct. You do not need to buy a YouTube Red subscription to get paid YouTube Red earnings. If you want an ad-free experience and Google Play Music and the other benefits of YouTube Red, then go ahead and buy a subscription, but don't do it if you think you need to to get paid YouTube Red earnings on your channel. Great question. Fortress Bros said, Hey George, will we earn our regular and YouTube Red earnings at the end of each month? When will we get paid YouTube Red? So, as I, as I answered, YouTube Red earnings will be paid on the same schedule as regular YouTube channel earnings. What is that schedule? See this video. Click that I up there. That will explain our payment schedule for those of you who don't yet know it. Will Melbourne asked, or said, hey George, you forgot to mention that anyone using Google Play Music gets YouTube Red for free, which is a lot of people. That's exactly right. Anyone who's already paying $10 a month to get Google Play Music, which is essentially a Spotify competitor, gets YouTube Red for free. What that means is you're gonna get a portion of that $10 a month for all Google Play subscribers, and there's many of them, to to you who watch your videos. Now, there was also a follow-up question that said, for people who get YouTube Red, they no longer see ads on YouTube. So am I losing money? Am I gonna get paid less if everyone buys YouTube Red? And the answer to that is, no, you will get paid a lot more, and I mean a lot more, if everyone bought YouTube Red. And here's why. So there's a great article from uh, Hank Green and the article was asking is YouTube Red good for creators and the, he said the answer is definitely yes so how am I so sure and I'll hide myself so you can see the whole uh, text so let's take a hypothetical YouTube user someone who watches two hours of YouTube two hours of YouTube every day that's roughly 400 videos a month they don't skip ads they're like the ideal YouTube watcher, the optimal ad viewing person. So they will generate around 80 cents of revenue for YouTube creators per month, assuming a standard ad rate of $2 per thousand views CPM. That's mm, another 70 cents going to YouTube and 80 cents going to you. So that's not a very good model. Now look at the ad advantage if that person had a $10 a month subscription. Now that YouTube Red subscriber is creating easily 10 times more value, 10 times more value than a non-paying viewer. Probably much, much more than that. So, the answer to the question, is YouTube Red good for creators? A definite yes, because you will earn a lot more money if everyone, or at least a lot of people, have YouTube Red. And there was one more question here. Uh, I think it was, Ah, here. Kratos Orion Plays asked, isn't YouTube Red based off watch time, not views? And he's absolutely right. It is not based on how many views your videos get that determine how much of that 
$10 a month subscription fee you get, it's based on watch time. So if someone watches your video and runs away very quickly, you get very little uh, additional revenue from YouTube Red subscribers. However, if people watch your videos end to end, or at least a large portion of them, you're going to gain a lot more money from YouTube Red subscribers. So this is a general best practice. Create videos that people want to watch all the way through. Don't just create very short videos or videos where people watch a few minutes or seconds and then run away. Okay. Now, there's a few more really important, inf uh, really important facts about YouTube Red that I think everyone should know. So this was an article from TechCrunch. And by the way, the link to all these articles that I have along the tabs here, up there, will be down there in the description beneath this video so you can read the full articles uh, yourself if you wish to. So I'll hide myself again. So TechCrunch points out that ESPN had to remove most of its videos from all versions of YouTube in the US because its other contracts prevent it from being on a subscription service like Red. And so ESPN's videos are now disappearing from all ad-supported tiers of YouTube in the US. And the reason for that is because YouTube re uh, required everyone to agree to sign its new revenue share deal for YouTube Red ad-free subscriptions, which means you don't have the option to opt out of YouTube Red. You as a content creator must accept YouTube Red on your channel. If you don't, then all of your videos will be hidden from public view on both the ad-supported and ad-free tiers. So this may seem like a heavy-handed approach by YouTube, and tell me if you think so down there in the comments below, but in my opinion, it's actually a good move because as you saw just now, you can earn 10 times more money than you can from an ad-supported user, a free user. If everyone had YouTube Red, everyone would be making 10 times more money according to that calculation by Hank Green. So that's a good thing. Now, people in general, human nature is afraid of change. If you tell someone, hey, do X, it's good for you, but it's different from what you're used to. Most people will not do it because they don't know if it's good yet. They don't believe it's good yet. So in this case, I really do believe it is good, but I know many, if given the choice, would say, ah, I don't know that thing about the red. I'm just going to opt out and wait to see what happens. Maybe in a few months I'll, I'll opt in. But then what about people who buy YouTube red? Sometimes they would see ads in those channels that didn't opt in, and sometimes they would see no ads in the channels that did opt in. It wouldn't be a consistent user experience. So what would happen? They would cancel their YouTube Red subscription, likely, because they're not getting the ad-free experience they were expecting. So I think YouTube did the right decision by forcing everyone to accept YouTube Red because it is good for everyone. Now, there's some negatives, like ESPN, which has contracts, which forbid its videos to be on a subscription service, but YouTube has said that 99%, somewhere in here, nearly 99% of the content watched on YouTube doesn't have that problem that ESPN has, so it's not going to remove nearly anything, and most of it will stay there. Now, there is a very funny joke. I thought it was funny. A quote from Star Wars, I'm altering the deal pray I don't alter it any further. Good old Darth Vader. By the way, who's seen the new Star Wars and who's seen the new Darth Vader? Very young guy, huh? Everyone in that new movie is very young. It's like this is the teenage version of Star Wars uh, where there are no adults. <laughs> well, there's some adults, of course, from the, the characters from the original Star Wars make a reappearance in the new Star Wars, but uh, yeah. It's Star Wars, the new generation, or the next generation. Okay. So what else can we talk about YouTube Red? So there's one more Wired article that I would encourage you to read for those of you who really want to understand YouTube Red and how it affects everything. Um, again, the link is down there in the description beneath this video. And in this article, Wired really goes over all the creator concerns 
um, how the shift to a paid world is generally good because people are used to getting everything for free on the internet and this changes people's habits to not feel like everything needs to be free. They get used to the idea of paying a monthly subscription fee, which is actually a much better for content creators because you earn a lot more money. And talking about YouTube's unique content and why YouTube is the biggest video library in the world. Uh, so it's a good article. I encourage you to read it. So thank you for watching this episode of The George Show focused on YouTube Red, the facts, answering your questions, giving you all the details. If you still have questions, ask me down there in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And who am I? I am George, Papa George as some of you call me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. And Freedom is a YouTube MCN, a family-oriented MCN that helps you grow faster because we help each other grow. We have great communities like www.community.tm with over 110,000 members, over 110,000 of you have signed up to our community forums, community.tm, where we help everyone grow faster together. And I will hide myself so you can see this number. As you can see right here, we have 110,972 members and the latest member is skeletongames.br. So join the community, introduce yourself in our here, introduce yourself forum, and let's see who's recently introduced themselves 13 minutes ago. So, Shadi, who is this? Are you a kid or a teenager? Well, these videos might be just for you. Hey guys, my name is Tane Parnaik and I'm from New Jersey, America. Hence my YouTube channel name, Jersey Gamers. So you can see we have an active community that we get Every introduction gets a welcome. Hey, welcome to freedom. Hey, I'm new here too. Welcome to freedom, my man. So do introduce yourself and I promise you, you will have a very active experience. There's a lot of posts, posts every day on these forums, a lot of activity where you can get reviews of your channel, you can get feedback to help you grow faster, all on community.tm. So I am George, and you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family, because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us, and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.